Hi! In this video we will stress the difference in the way we valued our annual coupon paying bond and our semi-annual coupon paying bond in the examples we covered in the two previous videos. In the end, we will also take the analysis a bit further. So by convention, in bond markets, we are given the annual yield to maturity and we denoted this with Y and the annual coupon rate. These two are fine to use when dealing with an annual coupon bond. Even if we were to divide by the periodicity, the two values would remain unchanged, as would be dividing by one. But in the semi-annual coupon bond case, we need to adjust these two values to reflect the fact that the periodicity is equal to two. So we are given the annual yield to maturity, which in the case of a semi-annual coupon bond is by convention expressed as two times the semi-annual discount rate. Therefore, in order to get the semi-annual discount rate, which is the rate that is appropriate to use when discounting a semi-annual bond's promised cash flows, we need to divide the yield to maturity by two. In similar fashion, we need to divide the coupon rate by the periodicity as well before calculating our coupon payments. And to extend the analysis a bit, if we had a quarterly coupon bond, that is a bond making coupon payments once every quarter of a year, which is equivalent to saying once every three months, as we have four three month periods within a given year, the periodicity would equal four. In that case, we'd have to divide the yield to maturity and the coupon rate by four. Equivalently, if we had a monthly coupon bond, we'd have to divide by 12, and so on and so forth, depending on the frequency of payments. So long story short, do not forget to adjust the annual rates by the periodicity or frequency of coupon payments. Now I would like to close this video with the following. In case you are wondering why these rates are given in annual terms and it is left for us to make the necessary adjustments before proceeding with our calculations, the reason is because if they are all annualized, it means that they have a common base that allows investors to directly compare bonds with different characteristics. In the following video, we will see the relationship between the bond price and the yield to maturity. Take care.